Hi everyone and welcome to codingzest.com. Guys, in this video I will show you how you can create an onboarding screen for your Flutter application. First of all, you need to create a new Flutter project and as you can see here, I have already created a new project and we will use a Flutter package for this onboarding screen and if I show you, this is my main file and this is my home page file. So as you can see here, this is a home screen text and this is showing in the home and we are using this home page in our main uh, dart file as you can see here. Okay. So first of all, we need to add a package here, but for onboarding screen, we also uh, need images or assets. So first of all, I will add uh, assets or images. So as you can see here, I have uh, these five images and uh, I will just simply copy it. I will just simply copy it and I will go back to my Flutter project and here I need to create a new directory and I will name it images. So I will put all these assets or images inside this images folder. So I will just simply paste it and click OK. And as you can see here, we have uh, five images here. Now what we will do, we need to add uh, these images in pubspec.yml file to know the Flutter project to uh, to use these images as assets. Okay. So just open your pubspec.yml and if you scroll down, so as you can see here, we have uh, assets. And uh, what I will do, I will just on comment uh this lines these lines sorry and i will uh format it like this and i will just simply remove this one we we are uh adding the whole uh folder here our whole directory here we are not adding uh images one by one okay so uh, just simply remove this and uh, images uh, our folder name is images and uh, we are including all these images in this asset folder okay so simply click on, uh, click on this pubgit but first of all we need to um, we need to add a package and as you can see here if you go to the pub.dev pub.dev okay let me close this one so i will show you from the starting and simply search for introduction introduction underscore screen okay simply search for it and open the first one as you can see here and go to the installing and uh, here we need to copy this dependency from here and i will just simply copy it by control c and i will go back to the android project and here we need to add this dependency or this package so below this flutter uh, test line simply paste it and now what we will do we will click on pubgit so it will get this uh, dependency okay so simply click on pubgit okay guys so the pubgit is completed and now we will close this and we also close the pubsec.yml file okay so it is showing us again so simply click on get dependencies and it will uh, run again the flutter pub get okay so it is completed and now okay uh, we we can just simply click on ignore because we already run it okay so now what we will do uh, we need another uh, dart file here so i will create a new dart file and i will name it on boarding sorry on boarding uh, page okay so i will name it onboarding page dot dot and here we need to add the onboarding page uh, code okay so first of all i will import the flutter material so simply type import material flutter material and now if i go back to the browser as you can see here this is the example of the introduction screen so we need these imports so i will just simply copy it from here and i will go back to my project and i will paste it here below this import okay so we imported our packages and now what we will do we need this class the onboard onboarding page class okay so i will just simply uh, copy it from here okay and uh, till here okay class onboarding extends stateful widget and simply copy it and i will uh, come back to my android project android studio and i will paste it here okay so first thing first we need to import this home page okay so simply click on this red pull import library so it will import our home page and this is the onboarding page and we go back we will go back to main dot dot and here we will replace this with onboarding so onboarding onboarding page okay and it will automatically import uh, that page here okay as you can see here so now i will uh, come back here and if i hot reload my application and uh, now we will get the onboarding screen here 
Okay, what is the issue? I will rerun it. Okay, I need to stop the application and run it again. Okay, so as you can see here, this is our onboarding screen and I can swipe the screen. But as you can see, we, we got some errors here of the assets. Okay, so as you can see here, uh, our asset folder name is images and we got images in .png extension. Okay, and as you can see, uh, this says unable to load asset assets uh, slash image2.jpg. So what we will do, we need to, uh, first of all, we need to change this asset. As you can see here, this asset to images. Okay, so if your asset folder name is assets, so you can uh, leave as it is. But uh, as you can see, I uh, added the asset folder name images so i will just simply uh, hot reload it okay and now what we will do uh, if i uh, scroll down so first of all i need to change this jpg to png the rest of name is same because we are using image1.png and i will just simply copy this png and i will replace the jpg with our png okay so this one will be also a png and uh, okay let me scroll down this one also be a png okay now uh, i will just simply save it and you will uh, see the images will appear here okay as you can see here the images uh, appear and uh, we are uh, we are still getting error for this image so as as we know we don't have any uh, flutter.png image here or asset here so we will just simply remove this uh, global header or i will just simply comment it out from here and i will save the project so this error will be gone okay as you can see if if you want to use it so you need the flutter uh, logo or any kind of logo in your asset folder and you will enter the name of that uh, asset here okay i don't have flutter.png asset so i just uh, commented out and i will just simply remove it to clean my code and i uh, also don't want this button here so to remove this button uh, this button is here global footer simply collapse this and if you want to uh, keep this button so you can keep it but i will just simply remove it and i will save my project and this button will be removed okay as you can see okay uh, here we need we also need to remove this uh, full screen png where is this full screen png there here it is so i will just simply remove this and we will got an error here and we uh, we will uh, remove this uh, page view this full screen page view here we we don't need this one okay so i will just simply remove this and if i save this so the error is gone and now uh, we we can uh, swipe and if i click on this done button so it will go to our main screen and as you can see here we have we we got a back button here back arrow here if i click on this so it will navigate back us to the onboarding screen if you want to remove this uh, if you want to remove this back button so just simply scroll up and uh, here as you can see on intro end function in intro end function we are using a navigator push so simply change replace this push with push replacement okay and save okay now if i click on done so as you can see here the back button is gone and if i click back so it will close our application it it, it will not be uh, going back to the onboarding screen so this is the onboarding screen uh, source code and if you want this source code uh, comment me i will provide the source uh, source code link in the comment section okay and that's how you can implement uh, onboarding screen in your flutter application by using a flutter package so if you like this video please share this video with your friends and also make sure you are subscribed to my channel and the bell notification option is on so you won't miss the upcoming videos